Okay, so hey guys and welcome back to another Sport This Week video and in today's video I've got baseball, tennis, NFL, cricket, boxing, UFC, football, MotoGP and I believe that, oh and ice hockey news. If you are new around here though and you haven't yet subscribed please do so, like the video if you do need like the video and let's get straight into it. So, I'm going to start off with the baseball news where Red Sox won 3-0 versus Yankees, Yankees lost 4-0 versus Rays, Dodgers won 4-0 versus Brewers, Astros lost 4-2 versus White Sox, Red Sox won 5-3 versus Pirates, Yankees lost 3-1 versus Rays, Dodgers lost 5-4 versus Brewers, Astros lost 5 uh, lost 4-3 versus Ast uh, versus I didn't write down who were against my bad. Um, Red Sox won 8-3 versus Pirates. Yankees won 8-7 versus Rays. Dodgers won 2-1 versus Brewers. Astros won 3-2 versus White Sox. Astros won 21-5 versus White Sox. Dodgers lost 5-3 versus Brewers. Red Sox lost 8-2 versus Pirates. Yankees won 9-2 versus Blue Jays. Red Sox lost 15-10 versus Orioles. Yankees lost 4-0 versus Blue Jays. Astros lost 6-2 versus Braves. Dodgers won 2-1 versus Marlins. Yankees lost 5-2 versus Blue Jays, Red Sox won 4-3 versus Orioles, Astros lost 5-4 versus Braves, Dodgers won 7-0 versus Marlins, Astros won 5-4 versus Braves, Yankees won 4-2 versus Blue, Day Blue Jays, and Dodgers won 10-3 versus Marlins. And yeah, that is all the baseball news. Moving on to the tennis news now, whereas the Cincinnati Masters, where there was quite a lot of tennis news this week, starting off with Jabir and Azarenka won 2-0 versus Aoyama and Chan. Contaviet won 2 1 versus Maritikova. Alcaraz won 2 0 versus McDonald. Radakanu won 2 0 versus Williams. Medvedev won 2 0 versus Van der Zanschlup. Sakari lost 2 1 versus Garcia. Contaviet and Stevens won 2 1 versus Dolly Hyde and Sanders. Jabir won 2 1 versus McNally. Radakani won 2 0 versus Azarenka. Sisipas won 2 0 versus Krajinovic. Uh, Swiatek won 2 0 versus Stevens, Jabir and Azarenka won 2 0 versus Zhu and Yang. Kontaviet and Stevens lost 2 0 versus Krawitz and Scherz. Sisipas and Rune won 2 0 versus Matos and Vega, Vega Hernandez. Nadal lost 2 1 versus Korich. Medoza lost 2 1 versus Tomjanovic. Jabir lost 2 1 versus Kvitova. Kontaviet lost 2 1 versus Zhang. Medvedev won 2 0 versus Shapovalov. Sisipas won 2 0 versus Schwarzman. Sowietek lost 2 0 versus Keys. Jabir and Azarenka lost 2 0 versus Melicha and Perez. Sisipas and Runk won 2 1 versus Me Mektik and Pavic. Radakani lost 2 0 vs. Pegula. Alcaraz won 2 0 vs. Silic. Medvedev won 2 0 vs. Fritz. Sisipas won 2 1 vs. Isner. Sisipas and Rune won 2 1 vs. Arivalo and Roger. Alcaraz lost 2 1 vs. Nori. Sisipas won 2 1 vs. Medvedev. Ostpenko and Kitch Kitchenok won 2 0 vs. Melichar and Perez to win the women's doubles Cincinnati Masters. Sisipas and Rune lost via walkover vs. Poets and Venus. Rams and Salisbury won 2 0 versus Poets and Venus to win the women no to win the men's doubles Cincinnati Masters. Garcia won 2 0 versus Kvitova to win the women's singles Cincinnati Masters. And Korich won via no, won 2 0 versus Sisyphus to win the men's singles Cincinnati Masters. And yeah, that is all the tennis news. A lot and no a lot of news this week. But yeah, that is all of it for this week. Moving on to the NFL news. Patriots won 20 to 10 versus Panthers. Packers won 20 to 10 versus Saints. Rams lost 24 to 20 versus Texans. Chiefs won 24 to 14 versus Commanders. Buccaneers lost 13 to 3 versus Titans. Dolphins won 15 to 3 versus Raiders. Buccaneers are signing Nasib, and Chargers are extending James. And yeah, that is all the NFL news. Moving on to the cricket news now. Where West Indies won by eight wickets versus New Zealand, Afghanistan won by 20, 27 runs versus Ireland, Pakistan won by 16 runs versus Netherlands, Ireland won by seven wickets versus Afghanistan, uh, West India uh, West Indies won by five wickets versus New Zealand, India won by ten wickets versus Zimbabwe, Pakistan won by seven wickets versus Netherlands. Uh, New Zealand won by 50 runs versus West Indies, Ireland won by 5 wickets versus Zimbabwe, South Africa won by 12 runs versus England and Pakistan won by 9 runs versus Netherlands. And yeah, that is all the cricket news. Moving on to the football news now. Laird has joined QPR, Juventus won 3-0 versus Sassuolo, 
Liverpool drew one one versus Palace. Gomez has joined Man City. Freuler has joined Forest. Gerraher has joined West Ham. Nunes has joined Wolves. Gibbs, Gibbs White has joined Forest. Vardy has signed a two year contract extension with Leicester. Spurs won 1 0 versus Wolves. Palace drew 3 uh, 1 no, versus Villa. Everton drew 1 1 versus Forest. Fulham won 3 2 versus Brentford. Southampton won 2 1 versus Leicester. Arsenal won 3 0 versus Bournemouth. Bremen won 3 2 versus Dortmund. Union Berlin won 2 1 versus Leipzig. Inter won 3 0 versus Spezia. Leeds won 3 0 versus Chelsea. Brighton won 2 0 versus West Ham. Bayern won 7 0 versus Bochum. Newcastle drew 3-3 versus Man City. Bilbao won 1-0 versus Valencia. Villarreal won 2-0 versus Atletico Madrid. Uh, PSG won 7-1 versus Lille, which is a massive... I mean, I mean, it's a big match, and for PSG to win 7-1 is mental, really, to show their dominance. Uh, Atalanta drew 1-1 versus Milan, and Barcelona won 4-1 versus Sociedad, which, like I said with PSG, does assert their dominance in the league as well. Moving on to the ice hockey news now. Kadri has signed a seven-year deal with Flames and Montreal are trading Monaghan and a 2025 first-round pick for future considerations. And yeah, that is all the ice hockey news. Moving on to the boxing news. Wilson Bent will fight on the 24th of September. I thought I'd mention that here because, I mean, obviously he's, he's a big name and he's been on one of my interviews, which is cool. Serrano will fight Mahfoud on the 24th of September. Magnesi versus Ka. Say see, uh, Ezuman versus Antwi, Heaney versus Flatley, and Chapman versus Guarnini will also find on the twenty uh, twenty fourth of September. Hefron, Fletcher, Hennigan, and Akbor will also fight on the twenty fourth of September. That card is getting stacked up nicely. Cully has joined Matchroom. Spark has joined Matchroom. Flores versus Non Shinger. Hernandez versus Mata. Cruz versus Merdjenovic. Estrada vs Cortez will all fight on the 3rd of September. Shook Schofield has joined Golden Boy. Georgiev won by a split decision vs Belhasa. Tabiti won by a stoppage in round 5 vs Wilson. Ali won by a KO in round 1 vs Nova. Al Mayuf won by a TKO in round 1 vs Alato Torre. Jack won by a split decision vs Rivera. Whitaker won by unanimous decision vs Nosik. Smith won by a KO in round 4 versus Bordelique. KSI will fight Pineda as the second fight he will be fighting on the 27th of August. Hergovic won by a unanimous decision versus Zhang, which I mean I did see as a definite robbery. Um, Usyk won by a split decision versus Joshua to remain WBO, w- WBA, IBF, IBO and Ring Magazine Heavyweight World Champion, which is a massive congratulations to Usyk. He fought an amazing fight, probably won the best technical fights from well from Usyk that I've ever seen um so a very big congratulations to him very much did deserve the win I think it probably could have been a unanimous decision instead of a split decision Joshua unfortunate for him he didn't really seem to take it amazingly but it, he just got caught up in the heat of the moment from what it seems and I'm sure he'll be back fighting something like maybe a Dubois or a Wilder or a White or a Joyce or a Parker or anybody there's still a lot of options that he could choose from and Usyk I really will really want to see like everybody wants to see at the moment him versus Fiori that's the only fight that really matters uh, and so we'll see if that happens moving on Lipinets won by TKO in round 8 versus Figueroa Jr to become a WBC silver super lightweight champion Garcia won by unanimous decision versus Gutierrez to become WBA World Super Featherweight Champion Navarrete won by KO in round 6 versus Baez to remain WBO World Featherweight Champion, uh, which I did predict right. I'm gonna, I forgot to mention the ones I didn't didn't predict right. Um, Smith also won. I don't know if I said that round here, uh, but Smith did win. Um, I did predict him to win. Zhang, I predicted to win. I mean, he should have won really, but he didn't. Usyk, I said would win. A lot of people didn't, but he did. Uh, Navarrete did win. I predicted him to win. So overly successful for boxing this week. Puello will won by a split decision versus Akmedov to become WBA World Super Lightweight Champion. And yeah, moving on to the UFC news now. Wood will fight Jordan on the 3rd of September. Rosa will fight Landsberg on the 22nd of October. Tibera won by a decision versus Romanov, which I didn't predict right. 
uh, Pedro won via KO in round one versus Hunsucker. I actually don't think I did predict the type of fight. My bad. Um, Podilova won via KO in round two versus Wu. Uh, Davalis Shavili won via decision versus Aldo, which I did predict right. A lot of people weren't saying that, but I did predict that right. Costa won via decision versus Rockhold. I did predict that right. I did think the stoppage there would be a stoppage, but there wasn't. But I, I still predicted it right. And the biggest news is Edwards won by a KO in round 5 versus Usman to become welterweight champion, which is massive. The second ever British UFC champion, and by such a shocking thing, I mean, I predicted Usman to win, I got that wrong. I'm pretty sure the whole world predicted Usman to win, and they all got it wrong. It was amazing, just one kick out of nowhere, and he was gone. Um be interesting to see if they get an instant rematch going on. It wouldn't surprise me because of how dominant Usman's been. Um... But we'll wait and see. It's still very exciting for British UFC fans. And moving on to the final sport now, which is the MotoGP, where it was the Austrian Grand Prix, where Miller started third, Bagnaia started second, and Bastianini started on pole. And in the end, Miller finished second, Quartararo finished second. No, Miller finished third, Quartararo finished second, and Bagnaia won. Uh, and Amir did not finish. So yeah, that is it for today's video. Hope you did enjoy like it. If you didn't like the video, subscribe if you're new and thanks for watching.